What's going on YouTube? Thanks for coming back. Once again, we're doing another video of how to install some speakers. This time in my 2017 GT Mustang. So let's do this step by step. There's two 7mm screws. One here and one right here. When you're removing the window switch part, there's going to be a clip all the way in the front. And you have your switch. Then you're going to have uh, one more here, one in the middle, and one on the other end. So, one here, one there, another one here, and then there. So, just be careful with it and you won't break anything. Now, unclip the window switch to get this out of the way. There's a bolt behind the handle. To get behind there, you have this plate. It has that one little plug, and then it hooks on the inside and you push it in. There's a little cutout right there. You're gonna use a pick like this, something with an angle on it. You're gonna go in the top, into that groove, and then pop it out. Remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now slowly pop. I started in this bottom corner. It's the easiest. There's about six clips that pop in. One here, one there, and then they just go around. So pop all those. And now we can lift the door off. You're going to have one plug by the speaker. You're going to have another plug towards the middle. Unplug those. And then you can softly put the door down. First we're going to unplug this three and a half, like so. And then it takes the same seven millimeter to pull this housing out. I'm using these Pioneers to replace them. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Use a Phillips head to remove these screws from both sides so that loosens the speaker from this housing that we're going to use to mount the new one. Cut the wire as close to the terminal as possible on the stock speaker. Strip these wires about a quarter of an inch. So the Pioneer cutout, so this area here is a little bit wider in diameter than this. So I'm just going to uh, take my Dremel, Dremel tool and uh, shave away a little bit of this surrounding. It almost fits. It's super close. But um, it's probably like a sixteenth of an inch or less difference. So I had a clearance issue with those posts that came vertical when I would... It would be fine. I'd have it plugged in playing. I'd slowly be putting the screws in. As soon as I torqued down the last one, it would touch the door and short it out and shut that channel off. So I cut the little tabs and I soldered it straight to the bottom here. So now I won't have any problems. Once you get it shaved enough, go ahead and press it in. I wanted to verify that I'm not going to have any problems in the future. So what I did was I used these washers with the stock screws because the Pioneer has a bigger cutout where the screw goes it's not just the opening like this so um, I guess I could have had a little bit smaller washer would have been a little better it's not interfering with the speaker so we're good so what I'm doing is doing that I put some RTV in that whole area to give it something to merge the flange with the housing and everything. It's pretty much overkill, but I'm doing it anyways. And then I tightened down um, the screw and it held. Uh, then I tightened down the screw, it mushes it all out. Once that dries, it's going to hold everything from vibrating nicely. So the magnet on these Pioneers barely fits in the hole, but it does fit in the hole without any modifications. 
to the door. So that's good. I test fit the door panel already and these washers don't interfere with anything. So although they look a little crappy because they're a little too big, uh, they're going to function fine and they're going to fit fine. So I don't really care. But if I was going to do this where I had to buy washers, I would just buy the next smaller washers, eighth inch washers. After cutting those tabs and soldering it directly to the pads, I now have no problem with it shorting to the edge. And uh, instant sound difference, instant. So uh, yeah, we're gonna move on to this here now. So you're gonna take the same seven and you're gonna remove the screws down on this speaker and unplug it down here and remove it. Now that you have the door speaker out, take a razor blade and cut the cone. Now that you have the speaker ripped out, you're gonna clean up all of this to where it's just the round circle. I'm running DD Audio DX 6.5s. I pick these instead of the VO series, even though the VO series can be louder, these have a wider frequency response. So they're the DX 6.5s. Here's what the DX 6.5 looks like. It's a coaxial. And 50 to 150 watts, 4 ohms. And we're going to uh, solder this to the factory connector on the housing. Tear the foam off of the speaker housing because the speaker is going to go through on top and it's going to sit on this flange so it needs to be cleaned off. The DD Audio mounting flange is too big and there's a raised part here on the speaker so I just cut it with the dikes and then I use my Dremel to flatten it so now it's nice and flat so it'll mount good. Some of you are going to say oh that's a lot of work just buy the adapters I mean if that's what you want to do you want to spend some money instead of spending five minutes uh, fixing it, then that's your choice and I don't have a problem with it. But this only took me five minutes to do, so I'm going to mount it with this. So I got four screws put in. It seems like this bracket part is thinner than the last few Fords I did, and it's not grabbing as good. So I put RTV around it to... Um, just, I just want to make sure it doesn't vibrate apart, you know what I mean? It's not worth the hassle to tear the door back apart. And if it's ugly, it doesn't really matter, no one can see this crap. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want it to look clean, go ahead, buy those adapters, like I said. Next thing we're going to do, once this dries, is uh, we're going to solder right to right and left to left. And we're going to obviously bend those tabs so they're not touching. And we're going to cut these screws flush with the bracket. Alright, so I have the soldering of the wires is done. I cut the, the screws flush. This is all dry now. So... It shouldn't get any vibrations, it shouldn't come loose, none of that. So now we can reinstall this. I decided before I put the speaker in, put some sound deadening inside. And uh, I'm going to put little pieces outside. You don't need to cover the whole door, just enough to keep the rattling down. Once you have enough sound deadening, go ahead and pop the door back on. So you hang, hang the top first. It'll slide down in the groove, and then you pop all those clips in all the way around. Put in these two 10 millimeter bolts, and then take your seven millimeter and put the two down here back in. Snap back in the cover for the door handle. Plug back in the window switch, and then pop this back into place like so
as a note if you have the shaker system you can just buy a component driver because this six and a half is not full range the three and a half seems to be full range um, I didn't check it with an O-scope or anything but the six and a half is definitely a low pass and that's all there is to it that door is done now go do all the same steps to the other side and um, you should be all set your car should sound a whole bunch better put in the comments below what speakers you used I'd like to thank everybody for coming and checking out this video uh, difficulty was you know maybe moderate if you've ever worked on a car you should be alright uh, tools you might need a soldering iron and some other things if you want to do it good um, other than that sounds great I'm gonna be doing the back speakers in the future uh, probably in a week or two and then I also have tweeters for the front A pillars so thanks for watching till next time wrench on